What's up everybody, it's Apex Guardian, and today oh, we're on the Minecraft server, so we're going to do a little bit of a spawn overhaul, and by sp little I mean pretty darn big. Uh, so the, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have two uh, time lapses here of just some quick builds, and then I'll show you the overall change to spawn, and uh, hopefully it, it turns out as well as it does in my head. Um, so both uh, both the time lapses and builds are deeply inspired by Minecraft creators, and I'll talk about that more in the voiceover. So this Nether portal was designed by Gold Robin, and I'll link their video down in the description below. I followed this one block for block because I've never built a sword portal before, and uh, when I was looking up sword portal ideas on YouTube, just get some reference ideas on generally how they're done. I came across Gold Robins and I saw it poking into the nether and I absolutely loved the idea. And I, I found this sword particularly. I just like the color scheme, I like the purple and I, I like the crimson blocks he used, the deep slate, the handle, all of it. It was just beautiful and I thought it would fit our spawn perfectly. And I was trying to kind of encapsulate that the spawn is the main place to go since we've been doing the town up or the expansion with more shop plots i think this definitely does act like a focal point for spawn which it should because it leads to basically our super highway for the server and uh i thought it would look really cool having our sword poke into the nether and uh, I'll show that at the end of the video because I didn't have time for this time lapse to put it in. I think the sword took me about maybe 35 minutes to make, which took quite a while to uh, render and all that. And I, I didn't want to spend super long because of the next part that we're doing in spawn is uh, to try and encapsulate the awe of the ender dragon because we we did kill ender dragon. We just had the eggs sitting on a little fountain that I had made originally when I started the server and it just wasn't enough but if we're gonna put in what we did no spoilers here for the dragon like for the egg to to showcase our huge triumph then we needed we definitely needed a better portal other than just the standard portal sitting at spawn I think this really just shows the might of the server and what we are capable of doing Okay, so what I'm building right now is created by Master Majesty once again. You might remember him from my last video where I built the tower. Uh, that tower in my base is, the, is also made by him. So I was looking through his channel and uh, I found this awesome dragon fountain tutorial that he has, which of course I'll link in the description down below. And I thought it would be really cool to have it on either side of the sword kind of with lava flowing instead of water down into the center thinking maybe we'll have it go into the ground with like a glass overlay so no one gets hurt because of the spawn and then the egg underneath somewhere uh, but i do want to make sure the egg is completely safe because I, I don't know if it can burn and you only get one so i'd really hate to lose the one we have on the server so i want it to be in a nice safe location where it's not going to teleport around it can't get destroyed but also completely encompasses the worth of that egg and what we have done. So uh, at the end of this video, I, I'll show you how I kind of transformed spawn. We went away from the smooth stone, I believe that's smooth stone. We went away from the smooth stone into a different style, which is very similar to the rest of our spawn town. I built a, another one of these dragons on the opposite side. It, it looked kind of empty with only the one. So it really helped quite a bit. I, I had some people join me during this. They were very curious as to what I was building because it's one of those things you don't really uh, realize what it's going to look like until it's done. Uh, the only difference I made from Master Majesty is he went with cobblestone and I went with deep slate. Uh, just to get that dark peel to match the sword. And I, I know the, the platform that the portal's on or the plateau of it doesn't match at all but trust me once this whole thing is done it looks really good so just stay tuned for that
uh, as is, the spawn has uh, two of these dragons, as well as the spawn portal sword. And uh, we'll go into the nether hub I built into there too. And then what I was thinking is doing some sort of like glass showcase here with the egg underneath the glass between the dragons and the sword portal and we just have the egg I, I don't know we might put it above ground i i'm not a hundred percent sure where we should put the dragon egg but i do want it in the center here so i'm not sure exactly maybe an arch with it on or some statue but i don't want to take too much of this walkway out i don't know uh we might level off that too and put something there at least expand it because it looks kind of weird now without any trees on it and this area all being what it is but uh let's jump into the portal so in in here i did some changes to the portal so this kind of is to like look like the sword stabbing into the nether and then uh it made this little crater here which I, i've covered in uh, glass and put some stuff in and make it look really cool and i i really really like how it turned out I'm super excited about this, and uh, it sounds like most of the people on the server think it's really cool too. So uh, I'm pretty thrilled. Uh, it is off center, unfortunately, due to the nature of the hub itself. Um, so what kind of needs to be done is maybe possibly thinking about expanding this, the walkways a bit, just because. Uh, then it'll be centered and it won't mess with my OCD. So like this one, we'd have to bring all these out one. Uh, there's no portals there, so that shouldn't be too hard. It'd just take a while. And then um, the same thing over here. We'd have to shoot those out one. Just to make it right in the middle. Uh, this could be so much work. I don't know if we're going to do that. We might. We might. But it is bugging with, bugging with my, uh, my symmetry a bit. Um, not much has changed in my base yet, um, I did move in, and you know what, we should, we should go to my base. Uh, I put some sea lanterns in here, which is good enough for now. Um, it will require some changes later on, and I, I removed some waterfalls that were in the area. I also put another beacon up, because we weren't getting the effects from that one, uh, by our tower. So, oh, 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 I did that. I don't think I, I ever... No, I didn't show that off. Okay, so I did that. There's like a little floating tower with a little bridge and, and, and I put up some lights. Well, glow berries, but same thing. Um, let, let's show off the interior. So you come in. This is kind of like the first floor. This is my storage area. It's kind of small. We got um, hopefully everything we need. That's uh, been replaced actually, so I don't need that down here anymore. This is one right here. So this would be like the potion area. This is just a slab that's been waterlogged way better than a cauldron because it doesn't run out for potions but um we're gonna need more brewing stands and stuff it's temporary we're gonna make a brewing room up here i haven't done anything here but this is probably gonna be like bulk storage uh and then we come up here eh. uh up here there's not really room for anything maybe some more storage there but like there's not really much room so it's kind of just a lookout and it's got a pretty good view. Here's the bridge to uh, the floating tower. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous view. Stunning. And we can go to the floating tower. We can see all the way to the bottom. Oh, it's it's beautiful. Just beautiful. Uh, and then we can always go to the top floor as well, which is like the real lookout of the... That was weird. The, the real lookout of the tower which is up here and, and you get this great view i love the glow berries how they grow next to it adds a lot of color adds a lot of light uh that one's really long and it's just i i love it i love it we can see everywhere it's just beautiful there's gonna be so much work here that we have to do it um i got one suggestion last video on uh the bottom of the waterfalls set up like uh campfires so they're, they're giving off like the, the mist. I just, I don't know how I do that underwater. I'd ha I guess I have to find a block that it can go through that doesn't look weird. That one I think I'm getting rid of. 
This one I have to keep because Squid wants it. But does it work? Will this work? It's so dark down here. Um, okay, so if I go like, say here, I go down several blocks. Uh, I put the sign like there. Then we're safe. Um, we're gonna set ourselves on fire. Okay. How do we get out? Uh, no, let's just. There we go. Does that work? Did that work? Yeah, and it's not super noticeable either. Like it's it's. Like the smoke is, but the hole isn't. I think it's pretty good. That's pretty cool. I like that. We're going to do that in some places. I I really like that. That's a really cool idea. So thank you for that suggestion, and uh, we'll be putting that in at some point somewhere. i do not not exactly sure specifically where we're going to be doing it. We're obviously doing it at that one. But uh, right now I need to work on this area a bit. I was thinking of like making a little wall around it like a railing and then some stairs down to the next floor down and then that's gonna be like the town and that's gonna be the mines i think but uh yeah uh let me know what you guys think i've bit off a massive project here and i, I definitely need some help but uh thanks for watching everyone and i will see you all next time peace